That Fever team's coming together. Oh, they have won four of their last six games. Kelsey Mitchell had the running block to seal the game against the Lynx. She led the team in scoring. Four of their five starters were in double figures yesterday. Aaliyah Boston had 17 and 16. And then when it comes to Caitlin Clark, on Friday, she had 20 and 13. Last Wednesday, she had 29 and 13. Uh, she's the first WNBA rookie to post multiple games with 20 points and 10 assists. They are finally clicking in a way that is very exciting and I know there was so much discussion of could Caitlin Clark could this rookie class have an immediate impact in the WNBA and right now the answer is yes like they have proved a lot of doubters wrong not just Caitlin Clark but what Angel Reese has done and I know her double double run finally came to an end but oh, these are you rookies. See how it came to an end <laughs> sure did <laughs> quintuple teamed like, you no, will not no. get this one. John Quill, Jones, Stewie, and everybody in New York. Leave it to the, the time, Liberty. They were like, no, we're not doing this. You better Leave. kick that ball out. We got something for <laughs> you to go Liberty. up with this. The, that Liberty team is good. Uh, fever. Yeah. Eight and four their last 12. What did they? St I think they started three and nine. I think that is, in, yeah. that is incredible. Yep. That is really, They are now really 11 impressive. and 14. A game and a half out of six. And I think that gets you in the playoffs. They have I a think chance to. They have a chance to get in the playoffs after starting off as poorly mm -hmm. as they have. That is a testament to Caitlin Clark. That's a testament to Leah Boston. That's a testament to the coaching staff. That is incredible to, to see play out. Mm -hmm. Now it makes sense for him to be on my TV all the time. I'm telling you right now. I know. I'm getting so many residual from our video when the Olympic roster came out. And people don't have comprehension where they can see that this take came weeks ago months ago at this point where caitlin clark was left off of team usa and they're like how can you see what caitlin clark is doing right now and say she shouldn't be on team usa and i'm like this was the whole point all along she has played her way into yes her game translating nearly immediately there were some big growing pains in the first couple of weeks but as we talked about in the moment coming straight off of the college basketball season going straight into the wnba draft going straight into the w but caitlin clark I'm sitting here today saying she is an impactful player. She is potentially going to take a fever team that has struggled and collectively with this group who is playing really well around her and shout out to, you know, that coach has dealt with a lot of criticism throughout the early parts of the season too. And now we could be talking about a fever team that could make the postseason. That's ridiculously impressive. So chill on the mentions, people.